I have here three 18th century brass bound buckets, but each of these brass bound buckets have their own quality about them. And first of all, let's talk about this one here. This has a tapering body, brass bound, and with thick brass bands. In the centre, the brass bands are slightly smaller. Now, if you look at the handle here, can you see how thin the handle is? It's a very thin gauge. And then when I take this out, the, which is the original liner, as you notice, it's quite short. It's quite short in comparison to the length of the bucket. So it's a three quarter liner. And that tells me with the tapering form of the body, a three quarter liner, a very thin gauged handle, it's Dutch and it dates around 1800. This other bucket here with the um, slatted up vertical um, positions here, brass bound top and bottom, but look at the gauge of this handle, so much thicker. Very good weight in the beginning, in the, the top here, and as it goes left and right, it, the, uh, the weight of the brass is much, much less. But when we turn to the sides, can you see how strong and how robust this um, area is here? This is designed because this bucket was designed for holding plates. It's known as a plate bucket. In the 18th century, um, you would have had plates which would have literally just stacked inside of here. And because the way this has been made, I would imagine this is the plates which would have been stacked in here would have been solid silver. So the plates would have been stacked inside here and then distributed around the table. And then when the diners had finished, they would be stacked back in and then taken to the kitchens to be washed. What somebody's done, um, they've had made a, uh, a wooden liner and then they've lined it in Moroccan leather. And to make it more versatile, into like a waste paper bin. So this is English, around 1800, it could even be around 1790, but a very smart item as a whole. And the third one, the short one, um, now when you look at this, it's actually cylindrical. Three brass bands, it has a nice um, edging to the base of the bucket itself. Like the first one, the liner comes over to the edge. And again, it's got the original liner inside. And as you notice, it's not the full length of the bucket itself. The handle itself, again, is not like the typical English one, which has a, a great weight to it. It's quite thin, but what attracts me to this one being it's cylindrical because it possibly is Dutch, but it has more of an English line about it because being in a cylindrical form. Uh, because most Dutch buckets are always, always tapering. So they each have a, their own qualities about them and they're really good, um, useful things to have. Because today, if we're going to use these, they, they make really smart waste paper bins, which obviously someone's been using this one for. Um, they make great planters. You can um, put plants in them, knowing that the water will be uh, not goat mark in the carpet, or put them by the fire and put coal or wood in them. But smart things to have, and um, very, very elegant. Three brass brown mahogany buckets.